interesting. So I was watching uh, Austin Kalia do his Armadillo 2x2 two two build. So I kind of modified it a little bit. I made it a little bit beefier, but I also changed uh, one thing. You can see here you can do it on flat ground. Um, you can also build out a little bit. Like I tried one style where I did a, a circle entrance. Had a couple... Uh, windows overlooking for peaks and stuff like that but i figured i'd just kind of try this generically also one thing i've done is i expanded outward because i wanted more storage so what i did is where he had honeycombing i'm doing barrel storage furnaces more furnaces, more storage. And then back here, you've got your battery. And up here and back here. Little little tricky to get to, but the TC. And so I, I kind of like this setup because kind of similar to the vending machine. Uh, doorway, which you can still do here if you want to move the TC, uh, the workbench somewhere else, is you can throw a vending machine right there and have extra raid protection. But this way they've got to blow up, you know, not only your TC, but the armored door behind it. And then the, uh, or excuse me, they have to blow up the workbench, the armored door, and then the TC. So that kind of adds some level of protection. And then uh, I tried uh, this little low wall, and then I put the shotgun trap up here, and that seems to be decent because, uh, you know, with the jump up, they just get shot straight in the face. I also added this one. I don't know how effective that would be necessarily once the door is open, but it's worth it. Also, with the boxes here, it works as kind of a... A stop gap temporarily in case you're up here behind them. You can open them, give them a shotgun blast up the face, and close the door. I've also got a little bit of a creep up here for uh, strafing. Boop, boop, boop. So I'm cut. I was thinking about putting barrels up here, but I don't know if it would make much of a difference. Because of their uh, hitbox spacing. I mean, it works. It's really great for triangles, but. I might try that door there so I could have a peek down to the furnace area. But, I don't know, just kind of playing around. Garage doors everywhere. So I'm not sure if I want to put a garage door, garage door here or, um, I might put another door frame here. I'm kind of playing around with the idea because I like this just doing a normal 2x2 two two setup as your initial starter. I mean with the flare outs. And then go from there to build the base. So I'm kind of up in the air about a garage door or a double door. I'm just playing around with different ideas. Then of course you do the what you can't do with the door. I do like trying it. I know it won't ever let me do it, but every once in a while I'm like, please work. My only concern would be, uh, well, 
little bit of a lag spike. Uh, somebody tries to pick that, but even then, it's still you've got to pick that, pick that, pick that. And so, you know, if it was an eco rage, you're here for a fucking a while. There we go. Okay, I don't know what's going on with this lag. So you can see where I flared it out a little bit. Let's do. Let's do a no clip. So there's the overall pattern. And then I was thinking about it, you could also, like these little areas here, you could throw a half wall up and a ceiling. And you've got a you've got a nice little turret pod there for the front door. Yeah, if you start getting getting hardcore with your uh, wipe yeah and you could also have one off you know back here as well and then off here so I think there's a lot of potential for growth in this base if you're get super heavy duty into a wipe or maybe you're on a month long or a 2x or something like that but I really like the the core design of the base. I just wanted to try messing with the flare outs and using barrels for storage a lot more since uh, they came out. I know a lot of people think they're pay to win, but they kind of are. But I mean, it's not like it's a fighting pay to win. You know what I mean? I'd feel, I'd probably feel differently about it if it was like a, you know, you could only get. Uh, a 249 or an M2 or something like that if you bought you know a DLC or if you could only get extended mags through a DLC or something like that it's, uh... so I think there's a lot of potential for this I'm gonna play around with it a bit more but I want to kind of show off the my slight change in his base design and I'll link the base design in the description but I need to play around with this as an actual base I use instead of just playing with it on a, a server and then one uh, I mentioned this circle what I wound up doing was You can do a little Dropbox setup here. And do a little shop front action.
I'm just uh, giving you quite a few more doorways to go through. And then when you're done for the day, And then before you upgrade it, you can still throw all your crap down to people below. I'd probably, I'd upgrade this one to armor just for safety's sake. But you could do the rest of this sheet metal, stone, whatever. I'm not sold on this round brown piece yet. I do like being able to see. Maybe I'll throw a door with a window on it. But Maybe leave it all patchwork, you know, do like a sheet metal, we do shipping container there, make it look like you don't know what you're doing. My concern about this is like this is a perfect door camp spot. You know what I mean? But it's also one thing I was looking at. There's. It's also good for that. I don't think you'd ever need two, but might give you a place to hide and fight from. I don't know. I'm not much of a PvP Chad, so. I like these more armored style bases than the peaks and all that crap. But I do like the look of having those two oil refineries there, though. All right. That's all I got on this. You can watch his video for how to build it since he's the one that had the rough idea for it. My only change was the, the little flare-outs and adding a, a few more layers. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you the next time I get around to deciding to make a video.